Hi everybody, this is Mimi and it's Thursday, Mimi Live, in my kitchen. What other way would I be besides live? Hmm. Anyway, today I'm going to make something really fabulous. A lot of you know how to make this, but my way is really good. I'm sure your way is too, but for those who don't know, kale chips. And um, I just love them. I can eat this whole bowl myself. This is a little, uh, little less than one head of the curly kale. And um, I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I just want to talk to you a little bit. What a week I've had, and what a month this is going to be. I've had two chefs now. One from the Chef Nick from the Rancho Bernardo Inn, which is a beautiful inn and country club here, spa, in San Diego. And the other was Chef Stella from Cafe Merlot at the Rancho Bernardo Winery, where we had, Mike and I had a fantastic meal. They don't make raw food but they knew we were coming, thanks to Sam. Uh, and she told them that, uh, that we were raw food people and they, she fixed, her first time she's ever done it, fixed the most amazing pasta with pesto. We paste, uh, put all that up on the, on the uh, Facebook pages so you can see that, it was fantastic. Then we had some of the delicious Bernardo wine, wine, winery wine. Uh, everybody's always asking, do I drink wine? I don't really drink much, but she kind of, teased me telling me it was going to be this Italian wine which I do love and that they make it the old way one special wine and so I thought I would have a little taste of it and it was spectacular so wine is fermented is considered raw and some people drink it and some people don't when I do drink I only drink a little bit and I forgot the last time I even had any wine but it was too tempting to pass it up and I'm glad I experienced it so don't worry anybody if you have something that's uh, you think is a no-no or you're not eating something raw once in a while, don't worry about it, just go back to raw. Occasionally I'll taste something as long as it's vegan, but I don't really feel like I'm eating it because I love raw food, it makes me feel great. So I don't wanna have anything else but that. But I need a snack once in a while. I need like a little old potato chip or something. So these are, if you like salty, these are salty and crispy and they're just magnificent and so easy to make. They just crunch up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. I started with some already, but I want to show you how I take it off the stem. This is the curly kale. There's also a kale that's called dinosaur kale, dino kale, and it's a long leaf with a big stem in the center. Just a long leaf. This, is the, this happens to be the curly kale because that's what my farm stand has, my organic farm stand here where I live. So here is, um, here is the kale, what it looks like. What you want to do is make sure you take the stem out. So you can pull it off on these small ones like that and try to keep them in big pieces because they shrink up and they, and they end up being very small after they're like this. I'm going to find a large one because I want to show you my little fun trip, a trick that works once in a while. Sometimes I just go like that, <laughs> isn't that great? And I make sure there's no stem in there, like this is fine. So you just can pull it off a little bit and just pull down on it like this. There you go, and it just kind of rips off and there's no stem in it. Some work a little easier than others. And I think this is going to be enough because I have all that, if I make any more than this, I'm going to eat it all. So not that it's bad for you, but I think that's probably enough kale for me to finish today. Okay, now I never measure. This is my problem. I'm just, I always just pour in, so, but I'm going to measure today. So I don't know how much I use even. I just go like that with my pores. Okay, that's one, two, three, Four, let's do five, and then I'll see how it looks. See, I never, I can never tell by doing that. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. You can mix it with your hands, or you can mix it with a, a thongs, tongs, thongs. are those little panties, aren't they? These are tongs. <laughs> Crack myself up sometimes. Okay, Mike's been, Mike is my poster of everything. He posts all my videos, and he also uh, runs the YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube channel. Uh, you, you can put, um, uh, what do you put, join or something, Mike? What do you put on it? Subscribe. Subscribe. You put subscribe. We're going to put a little bit more on. You put subscribe, and then he, you'll see all my YouTube videos when they come up. Just in case you don't look at my page, it'll notify you. And I do one every week, so it'll just remind you to, to look. And Mike posts all the, all the uh, videos for me. The other thing while I'm doing this, mixing it, because I have a few minutes while I'm mixing, 
I just want to let you know that so many of you recommend on my Facebook pages for people that you think I should uh, friend. And uh, what happens is my two pages are full. And I have to only accept people on my like page. My like page. So look for Mimi Kirk author. You search for that. Mimi Kirk. You don't have to put author. Mimi Kirk. And then when it comes up, there'll be like three Mimi Kirks. And look for the one that says author underneath. And you can put a like on that page. And I post everything the same. And I communicate to everybody there. So don't worry. It's like a, it's really like a friend's page. I don't send you out a bunch of nonsense and invite you to do this and that. I just post stuff and let you come when you want. So um, that's on my page. Okay, now I'm going to put in, that was six tablespoons. And it's glistening. That's when I know it's right. When you make kale salad, you want to massage it so it gets very limp, but you don't have to do that with this. Now I'm going to put in some tamari, and it's a gluten-free tamari, organic gluten-free. Oh, I said I would measure. Sorry. Here, one, two, I think three might do it. Let me look and see how it is. It has hardly any ingredients. Kale was one ingredient. Olive oil is the second ingredient. Tamari, I'm going to put a couple more in. In this case, so it's five. five. I'm going to post this recipe on my um, on my webpage, youngonrawfood.com. You can go there. You can buy my book there, too. You can see all the products I use there in the shop. And um, when you buy my book, I autograph it and send a necklace. My book's selling very well on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, on my site. I'm very happy about it. Germany, selling out, number one in there. So it's very exciting. Oop, I see a little bit of a stem here I'm going to pull out. They just don't, they don't dehydrate well. Okay, that's two things here. So that's six oils and five of the tamari. Now, here's what I love. This is, I, this is not raw, but it's nutritional yeast, and a lot of raw people use it, including myself. It makes things very cheesy. I think it's healthy, and um, makes me feel good when I eat it. So, okay, now I can't measure this. I'm going to have to sprinkle it on because it depends on how much uh, kale you have in here. I have one bunch plus a few more stems you saw me. Uh, fix. Okay, I'm going to pour this on top. So just cover the top of it first, like that, and then you're going to mix it in. See, it's all covered. And then you're going to mix it in. You want it kind of cheesy. Cheesy. Oh, that's such a funny word. It's not really cheesy tasting. <laughs> okay, that looks lovely. The kale, this, this really makes it. Now, you have some choices here. You can put in curry powder, if you like. You could put in cumin. If you like, depends on the flavor you like. This is, um, what is this? This is some pizza seasoning that I like. So I'm going to put in, oh, I'm just going to use my hands. That's probably a teaspoon. Let's put another little bit in it. You can put anything you like on it. This is just a really great, you know, curry is delicious on it. I'm going to see if we have enough everything on it here. You'll be so amazed how everyone loves this. And it's great sprinkled on salads. Now, when I do the dino kale, if you, do, if you buy the dino kale, you want to put them on um, one at a time. But on this, you don't really have to do that. On this, you can just throw it right on the tray. You don't even need the, um, the Telflex sheet. And you can just pile it on. And then you'll have to take out a few trays because you want to make it like every other tray. So this will cook down. And by the way, this is so fast. In a couple hours, three hours, you have kale chips. It's a really nice little snack. Um, if friends are coming over and you make a little mocktails from my book. So this will fit on one shelf, but then you have to take out the upper shelf so it doesn't hit the top of this. Okay, that's one. And uh, I usually have about three trays. You can make it cheesier if you like. Uh, I've not had a problem ever putting too much uh, nutritional yeast on it. And then here's the third batch. Okay, that's three batches, and um, you'll see you'll get a nice amount of kale chips. I love these. You can leave them out on your countertop and snack on, on them all day, and they're good for you. You're going to pop them in your dehydrator, about 105, 110 degrees, and there you go. You've got kale chips, these delicious kale chips. I, I'm going to eat them in front of you, but I might get some green on my teeth.
Mm. Oh, I swear these are so good. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. All right. I'm very excited about this month. I have a couple book signings in Los Angeles. I'll let you know where they're going to be at the end of the month. I have a very important VIP person coming over the house to eat his first raw meal. He's had vegan meals before. A celebrity friend of mine. And I'm very excited and I'm very nervous because he's been all around the world eating fabulous food and now I get to cook for him. Just like the two chefs got to cook for me. So I'm very excited about that. And I love you all for all your support and all the wonderful things you write on my Facebook page all the time. And you just make my heart full. I love you so much. Come see me again next Thursday. Bye.